Hey guys, uh, my name is Beast Brody, and welcome. Uh, my name is Beast Brody, and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Um, once again, I don't really have anybody to thank, but I set up a PlayStation controller where I can play with it because I like it better than the Xbox controllers. So, yeah. Carl, how San Fierro is fucked up. I can honestly say I wish you was here. Great. Now you got the present for that friend of mine, right? You know, the one trying to get me and old Officer Pulaski into trouble? Yeah. Why don't you put that up in his car and give Wee Tip a call? Hey, motherfucker, the code of the streets is that I don't snitch. I don't give a fuck if he kills you, me, my brother. Street cats don't call no cops. Carl, he's a DA. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, where I go find him? He's at the Van Kauf Hotel in the financial. Oh, for sure. Well then, the DA is on the way to there. Okay, got it. Did I put anything in here? I did. Okay, nice, nice. All right, we're almost there. Um, <laughs> I know y'all might see me do like this or that every now and then. I don't mean to. It's just, it's just that uh, you can't really look around in the convertibles in this game. It like does like that. Hotel operates a valet service. The DA will be dropping off his car here shortly. Okay. Call the valet. Got it. Yeah, for a short period of time, I considered being a valet, but it was like you had to be 18 year old, years old, and I was like, ah, I ain't gonna wait yet. Speaking of, this is the first video I've made where I'm 18 years old now. So that's nice. Still feel like I ain't quite old enough, but hey, bro, bro, come here. Do I, do I just? I guess I just kill him. Yeah, I guess that works. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> Does anyone's gonna believe a valet wearing a uh, a what you call it, a bandana on his face? And then left him down to his heart, skimpies. All right. Ah, you must be the new boy. Driving a blue merit. Remember, you'll have to use it. Make sure none of the other valley services car first. All right. And they say blue. Is that the blue they're talking about? Because to me, that looks almost green. But Yep, I think that's them. Get the fuck out of your car. No dings. Shut up. Now, uh, for any of you watching, what do y'all think about the way that I cut these videos? Like, I cut out pretty much most of the driving, uh, a lot of the fighting too. Just trying to hey, don't need to get on there. Most of the, uh, the story I leave in. Or pretty much all of it that I can I leave in including the in-car dialogue I try to leave in but it takes a while I know it's probably a long series because I plan on playing the entire game maybe not like all the extra shit like finding things but that that'll be a maybe on things no shit but uh, yeah just let me know what y'all think about that oh don't crash it Now, what kind of drugs are we planting? That's the question. Because we don't want, do we want to put them away for a long time or just kind of long? See, that's why I wouldn't like valets, I don't think. Because I'd be worried about them doing some shit like this. No, but when I was considered when I was considering being a uh, valet, it was like, well, I like cars a lot. I like driving cars a lot. Why not make it into a job? And I was thinking, hmm, what kind of job could I do that would let me drive cool cars? I was like, damn, a valet would. But then I was like... I'd be worried because if I ever got a scratch on it, it'd be like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay, so he just does it by himself. Just we tip. I seen some highly suspicious you should come check out. Police, don't move! Get out of the car with your hands in the air! Do you know who you're fucking with here? I'll have your badge, you moron. 
Shut up! You find anything back there? Found anything? He's got half of Mexico in here. Must be two tons of Mary here. What? Oh, but, just but I've never seen. How could it be? Hell of a defense you got there, buddy. And thus, dash cams are important. But I guess back then they weren't all that common. I don't know what that is. Go get us some pizza. Go get us the biggest thing they got. Twice. <laughs> no reason to it, really. It's just so that the character has some fat on them. Because uh, if you don't in the game, like you don't have any, I know it will eventually start hurting you. Like It'll take away your max health and stuff. At least as far as I remember. Oh, a gun store. I guess we can go uh, see what they got real quick. See if they got anything that I can use, like a rifle, a large one, like a AK or ooh, new weapons are available. Can I actually go into the game range? If I can, I will be right back. Alright, I beat it. Um, okay, now we're going to go save. Finally. Alright, naturally we are going to play CJ's mission first, because uh, we're important. Copyright again. What the fuck is going on? Do I look like a hooker to you? What? Those assholes keep saying shit to me. Who said this to you? The construction workers up that hill. I'ma fuck them up. Nah, hold up. I got this. I need to go teach him a little respect. Huh? That's right. Yeah. I've been thinking about getting me some new land anyway. Why would she come up to us asking us if we thought she was a hooker if, uh... If it was them, not us. Destroy the portables and kill the foreman. That's one way to teach him. Trinity will help destroy the portables. Got it. Assuming the... I don't know why I thought they were talking about outhouses, but... Or the porta potty I guess, is what they'd be called. Do I have to kill them too, or no? Not as of right now, but I see something I like. A flamethrower, well. We'll keep the rocket for now, just for now. Let's go grab that machinery. Alright. Before the cops arrive. Those are your explosives, so I should be careful. More explosives right there, so avoid them. What's all that damn clatter? It's a wonderful Holy day for rain, crap, huh? I didn't see nothing. <laughs> it's kind of fucked, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> Oh god, no! That'd be a terrible way to go. Let's try and land here. Oh god, oh, I'm gonna blow! <laughs> Guess I do gotta kill a few of them. Get you on side of that thing, dude. Oh, they're shooting again. Dude, that's cops, though. It sounds like they're cops. Get in the damn thing. No, it's just another construction worker. And back it up. That's one way to get rid of them. Be a terrible way to go. Concrete, boy. I don't know what that sign means, but. Oh shit, can we save this thing? <laughs> Fucking dope. Yeah, what? Yo, man! It's Jethro, dude! Hey, Jethro, what up? Well, I was talking to Caesar, and, uh, 
Don't get me wrong, dude. I mean, you are one out there dude when it comes to driving, man. But Caesar, he told us how many cars you get through, dude. And me and Dwayne were like, whoa! What is your point, Jethro? No, no point, man, no point. Just that there's an advanced driving school, like, just up the road from the garage, man. Like in Doherty. Driving school? Man, exactly what you trying to say, man. Nothing, man, nothing. It was Dwayne's idea. I think you're, you know, cool and shit. I, I better go, CJ. I'll see you later. CJ's gonna kill that guy. Alright, we are going to see whatever the fuck that sign is. CJ! You got it? Hey, my cousin just called me. He gave me a tip about a baller's car going to San Fierro to score yay. She. We gotta find out who's supplying those cats. Take that motorcycle, okay? actually. I hope not. Say you okay? I hope not. What a dick. It's funny, but a dick, man. <laughs> right, this way. I'm gonna find a way in there. I'm gonna steal a damn plane to get there. Still restricted, but I see a helicopter over there. It looks awful nice. Oh boy, I just got in. I've actually never. Oh, you can't get in it. Man, that's bullshit, dude. Damn. Alright. Yeah, it took long enough to get here. Alright. I'm assuming it's got hydraulics. No, really? Where we going? Huh. They were headed over Angel Pine Way. Follow the road and maybe we can pick them up. I guess this way. Alright, and we're here. It took long enough, but we're here. The car looks like it's about to blow the fuck up, boys. Is that garbage can? Hey, buy me some taters to fry up. Yeah, that is not what I was looking for. Give some mighty fine muscle. Oh, okay. There it is, Holmes. Take the picture. What? You, you sherm head. This business is bigger than any gang has said. Rider, little bitch. I'm supposed to do it again? God, these buttons are fucking weird for this. Take the fucking picture. There we go. Just keep taking them. I know this isn't his face, but... Oh well. Okay, so I accidentally found that ghost car that will drive around. Um. Okay then. What I'll do, I'll just mark this location and we'll come back. Like right about there. Alright. There's a ghost car. Finally made it back. Jesus, man. Get over here. I know they're gonna see me with these bright ass green clothes on. Okay, but they got really weird buttons. It's like it's this and this to zoom out, and it's this one to take pictures. What the hell? There it is, Holmes. You got a ball in there with him. You sherm head! This business is bigger than any gang has said. Rod, little bitch! Keep taking pictures of his face, I guess. Alright. Now this guy. This guy take himself real serious. 
That's T-Bone Mendez. What now? Is that it? Now we should kill them. Whose face? I just took a bunch of photographs of their face. What the fuck? Whose face? Oh, his face. Okay. Hey, who's the gringo? I don't like the look of that guy. This more than a few thugs push a product. It's a serious organization. They involved. How many of these clowns are there? Ah, uh, I know a pimp when I see one. They being clever about this. It ain't no exchange of nothing incriminating. <sighs> mm -mm. And now we just murder them, right? No. That's what I would do. I mean, I'd just take them all out. That was some heavy shit. We better split up and get out of here. I'll meet you back at the garage, eh? Coolio, we got what we came for anyway. <laughs> Julio, Julio. God, that's probably racist. I don't know. <laughs> she is crazy. What are you looking at exactly? Hey, man, you get them flicks developed. What's up, Woozy? Hey, Carl. I was just explaining to your brother in law that we were friends. Oh, yeah? Well, look, Woozy, I need to get some info from you, man. And what exactly do you boys want to know? Who are these putas, Holmes? Why don't you go take a look? These guys? Yeah. They're the loco syndicate. They're pretty big time, I think. Don't have any dealings with them. We don't touch blow. Now this guy runs things. I don't know his name. This guy is T-Bone Mendez. He's the muscle. And who's that guy? That's Jizzy B. He's the biggest pimp in town. He helps set up the deals. You know, uh, concierge of sorts. Hey, did he my way in? How I get to him? Oh, Jizzy? Jizzy runs the Pleasure Domes Club in that old fortress under the Gap Bridge. Hey, good looking out, Woozy. No problem. Don't be a stranger. All right. I don't even think CJ knows he's blind yet. I think he finds that out way later. Go to Jizzy's club. Okay, well, we'll save it there again. All right, and we're arriving in style. Okay. Now, there's some pretty damn nice cars here. Make sure it's recording, and we're good. Okay. See, baby, I got everything. Let's go get Jizzy. Make sheets. Don't take that out of context. Make curtains in the window. When I walk down the stairs, I'm walking down on mink car. Now, who's this trick? I don't need no more friends, baby. All they try to do is peel me from my hole. Nah, nah, it ain't about them. It's all about you, player. I heard you was the man with the hookup, and you was the man I needed to see. I'm offering my services. Say what? Yes, sir. See, I'm new in town. Anything you want, I can do. For a guy like me to work with, to work for, a guy like Jizzy B, well, well, now that you mention it, I do have a slight problem. Something a little dumb muscle like yourself might be able to fix. Because you see me, <laughs> I'm intellectual. <clears throat> Bitches, y'all walk on down to the bar and fix a pimp a drink. Mm, mm, mm. See, I only got two eyes, and in these streets, you got to have more than that. You got to be like a flying shit, you know? A hundred eyes everywhere. Now some lunatic been fucking with my bitches. My fucker killed two last week. I want you to go find out. No problem. You my player partner now, Jizzy. Wait up, Mr. C to the J. See that pretty young thing in my car? Drop her off at the hotel downtown. Use my car phone and give me a ring a ding when you're done. And watch the rims, player. Treat that baby like the Pope Mobile. All right. As the other cars flipped in the distance. Boy, what a strong bitch, huh? 
Ever had half and half with a sucia like me? Yeah, go on. I'll do things your ruka won't. I'm listening, honest. I'm no slut, but I need the feria. Uh-huh, real interest. Whatever, puto. Hey, Jizzy, it's Carl. I just dropped off your girl. Church, got a little errand for you to remember before you deal with that problem I was just talking about. Some young buck thinks he's a player been trying to peel my holes over in Hashbury. Now, one of my girls over there just eyeballed the punk. I want you to get your ass over there and ice that pretender. Did he not just say that he didn't have any, uh, any girls? Because if he don't, then how's that making a pimp? Maybe it wanna be. Here comes my player. Now you in real trouble. I was pimping through your motion till you showed up. And he's out. Get back in the pimp mobile. Hey. It's CJ. Just to let you know, you don't have to worry about no competition in Hashbury. Worry? Did I say I was worried? No, I did not. Now to the real deal. Some of my girls in the Foster Valley been getting knuckled over. I want you to get your ass up there and nose around. Find out what's going on. Fucking man is so stupid, Jizzy. Oh, uh, Lord. Kind of reminds me of in uh, Grand Theft Five. Jimmy's like, you could always call me G Jizzle or Jizzy or something like that. I think he said Jizzle. Kind of reminds me of that. And Franklin was like, yeah, I think I'd just stick with Jimmy. Like, I has like ho health. Mr. Jizzy, it's CJ. You the bad luck charm, Flunky. That girl you dropped off downtown wants out of the game. Her sugar daddy wants to take her off the streets. Nobody turns my hoe. You get your ass back to the hotel and you make an example out of all of them. Alright, I guess I'm killing them all then. Damn, she's fat, boy. She out of the damn town, boy. Alright, we're here. Set me to save your threadbare soul, harlot. Get in the car and remove your filthy vestments so I may better gaze upon thy corruption. Driver! Get us out of here before the devil's right hand snatches this poor girl from salvation. Right away, your evangelical holiness. I'm just saying that was not the girl that I saved. Just about flipped over. And that's gonna be game over when he flips. Oh, yeah, that's him gone. Now it's just the protection. Where'd you go? These guys while I'm at it. And there they go. Yes, you're pimpliness. Oh, 
CJ, you the player's right hand, baby. Oh, and by the way, that car's just come up over on the APB. Dump it, keep it, whatever. Just keep it away from me, my hoes, and my club. Oh, for sure, you got that, man. I don't know, man. I might keep the pimp mobile. <laughs> my car! Alright guys, well I think I'm going to leave it off there, I've been recording for a while. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you all have a good day, and I will see you all tomorrow.